Party Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 76th Cannes Film Festival and with Wim Wenders who's here to present not only a filming competition but also an film screening out of competition as a special screening. I was thinking, talking about that, uh, what did you decide to include like these <laughs> fictional elements into the film's narrative? Because the feeling is that as Kiefer Anselm uses all materials and art forms, you know, to express his art, you did the same by including, you know, all exploring all possibilities of cinema, you know? Yeah, look, I mean, a main ingredient of his art is time. He uses time. He puts his works out into the rain and lets them stand outside for a year. He puts them into a burner where all the paint cracks. It's like leaving them out in the desert for a year. He puts fire on them. He's, he pours lead over them. He does a lot of things to age them and to have time come into them. And a lot of his working material is time itself, is history, is myth. A lot of the materials of his imagination is things nobody can, thinks we can paint. Who can paint the universe? Ansem did paint the universe. Who can paint history? Ansem did paint history without becoming a history painter, a historical painter. So he did, he does so many unusual approaches that I realized in my film I also had to go through a time period and and I had to find ways to translate his method through my filmic methods. Was that how the language of 3D helped you to do? In 3D, and that is not a joke of mine, in 3D you use other parts of your brain. You have to use about three times more brain in order to see because your, your brain itself turns it back into 3D. You have two streams of information, left and right, and on the screen it just looks out of focus. But in your mind, you make it back into space. You turn it into space. Your mind does an unusual, has an unusual activity. It has the activity that you have when you look at me right now. You put me together. With all the data that you see, you put me together and I'm sitting here in space and I'm there. And the, and the there does not exist on a flat movie screen. The there exists in 3D. You're much more there. And actually you see so much more. You see so much more. It's scary. One last general question. You have a film in competition, you're, you're presenting Anselm here, but more generally, what do you think is the function, the mission of film festivals today? Uh, are they still helpful, you know, for, for the experience of cinema? Yeah, there's still big trade shows and the whole industry comes together and they look at each other's works and the business is very present. The art is also present. The art of filmmaking is also present. But I think Cannes was always dominated by the business of filmmaking and you still see both. And I'm very grateful that Jerry Fermo gave me the chance to show film like Ansem and to show another film at the end of the festival, a fictional film, because it's an enormous platform and especially if you're a young filmmaker, and I'm not a young filmmaker, but I made this, I made a film that has not, that is not like anything else that existed. So maybe in so far I'm also a young filmmaker. I made something that didn't exist as such before and for that a film festival is ne necessary because otherwise you'd have to travel around the globe to show it to so many people that can see it here in one place. And it can, if you're lucky, create a buzz. You can also 
have bad luck and nobody talks about it, I know the feeling, it happened to me too, you come with a movie and it's uh, no, nothing happened. Sí. So, it can both happen. Thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias. You know, and we've been talking to Vin Benders here at the 76th Cannes Film Festival to present a film competition and uh, Anselm uh, as a special screening. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fraud, the Festival Insider.